class. Welcome to my channel. This is Montel and Montel's Art of Life. Upon a request from my son, Max, today we're going to learn how to draw a dragon. Whoa, a big scary dragon for kids, of course. So, without any further ado, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to come up to the top left-hand side of the page and we're going to put eyes on it. And you know how we like to draw the round eyes with two dots? Here's how we're going to start. From here, round eye. From here, put another round eye. Go ahead and put two dots just like so. Dragon's going to be looking right at you. Like that. Now from there, we are going to come from right in between here. Just put a line down. From there, I want to go ahead and put a great big whoopty woo like that. And another little whoopty woo, like a little smiley face right there. And an upside down smiley face right there. From there, we're going to put a little whoopty doo up there and another little whoopty doo up there. Let's put the nostrils on this dragon. I'm going to put one over here. Can't barely see it because it's on the other side. And then we're going to put one over here. Upside down, happy face. And let's put in another one right underneath it. Cut a little bit of the thing right there, just like so. Now, from there, we're going to go ahead and put some teeth on him. One, two, three, four. You can add, add as many teeth as you want, but you're a dragon, and there's no mistake in artwork. So, what you draw is what you draw. Got it? Okay, from there, we're going to put big circle like this and we're going to come down like that. Now from there we're going to go underneath this mouth and we're going to put a little thing like that. It's going to be his chin. Now from there we're going to go ahead and put the neck, bring it down like so. From there we are going to come over here and we're going to put a big whoop de doo like that. Put on a little hook right there, like so. We're going to take from there, we're going to come up and put another whoop de -whoop. Put on another little hook right there. It's going to be his wing. Now from there, let's go ahead and start here and put on a whoop de doo and a little point. Another little whoop de doo and another little point. And bring that whoop de doo up to the other whoop de doo. I don't really know what a whoop de doo is, but I'm just going to call it a whoop de doo From there, we're going to go ahead and put on a hand. So we're going to start with this hand. We're going to put a claw, just like that. And another one right beside it, and another one down here. Three of them. See? It's going to be his hand, like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. From there, we're going to put a piece down, down here, and up going to be that one arm. Now we're going to come over here. We're going to put a line out, a whoop de doo which is this claws, another whoop de doo and like so. Go ahead and connect that line there. Now from there, we're going to come underneath the wing, and we're going to put on his back, and it's going to be his tail coming all the way around and up, like so. We're going to put a triangle, a diamond, a triangle. It's going to be like the end of his tail. But we're not going to make it pointed sharp. We're going to make it rounded off just a little bit. Whittle. Like this. See? Now from there, we're just going to take this tail, bring it all the way back around, and stop there. From there, let's go ahead and put on his back leg. Here's how we're going to do that. Come right about around in here. We're going to put this coming down like so. Now we're going to put the other part of the arm right here. Like that. We're getting there. From there, we will put on his belly. Like so. Bring it on down like that. Put on this leg here. We're going to put on one over here. But it starts, you're not going to see it back there, but it's going to come right around like this. Now let's put on his feet. 
down here below his tail, we're going to put a little whoop-de-doo, another little whoop-de-doo, and two more whoop-de-doos above that little one. That's going to represent his feet. Now, from there, we are going to come up here, and we're going to put on the spikes on his back. He's like, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, six, seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, blah, 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 blah. Just do that all the way around. When you're done, take this and put a line. It's going to meet all the way back over there. That's his tail. Now, from here, we've got to put his toe claws on his toe. So one, two, three, four. And we got to put his heel back here, like that. Pretty cool so far. Now what we need to do is put on some little details here and there just to make it finished up. Put on a little whoop de doo up here, like so. We're going to go ahead and open his mouth up right there just a little bit. This line here we're going to carry on down. We're going to come over here and put this here to represent the wing. The inside of the wing. Now from there, let's add up some scales. So wherever you want, you don't have to do them where I do, but you can put just a couple, and real lightly, just whoop, 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 just a couple little little ones like this. There's some. Here's some. And you know what? We forgot to put his belly on there. Like, you know, the belly. We're going to come underneath the chin and draw a light line down right there. And from there, we're going to take and put a couple little lines going across, like so. And here's some more. Pretty cool dragon. Let's put on some more scales, like maybe through here. Like so. And maybe a couple here, if you want. You can put them anywhere you want. Now, let's put in a castle in the background. Here's how we do that. Come here and put a little squares. Do, 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 do. And come up and put some more squares above that. Do, 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 do. Make that into a somewhat of a point. Come down and do the same. Do, 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 do. And let's put some windows in there like so. Because he lives uh, back in where the castle is, and oh, we gotta put a flag on top of the castle. Like this. There's the flag. A little bit bent, but the wind's blowing, so let's add some action lines. Like so. And let's put some action lines over here. On the wing, makes him look like he's going. Yeah, pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and. Pull this castle all the way across. Like that. And put a couple windows over here. And let's put some grass. Like so, right here. You can carry some over here if you'd like. Put some bigger blades right here. Pretty cool. Oh, his tail's moving. Let's make his tail moving. Like this. And what else do we have to do? Does anybody know? Sign it. That's right. So, legible. I'm going to sign mine right here. M O N T E L. 2024. I'm going to let you decide on how you want to color it in. But I do suggest going and getting yourself some of these Sharpie or highlighter markers and you can do the cotton candy colored effect with this marker set here to conclude this video I would like to remind you to hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel remember once I get up to 100 video subscribers I'm gonna randomly pick somebody in the subscriber pile and draw something for you free of charge Enjoy your day. God bless.